Okay, it's time for another movie. And when you know it, I'm going to see it here at the Regal. And uh, it's called The Equalizer 3. I did not see Equalizer 1, but I did see Equalizer 2, and I thought it was pretty good. It's kind of about a superhero, and a superpower is shooting a beam of light at people, and they turn into a packet of equal, that fake sugar. Ha! <laughs> this is the funny joke I tell, but it isn't true. It is about um, Denzel Washington, and he, uh, you know, he has a certain set of skills, and he murderizes people, so. That's what this movie's going to be about, too, I think. <laughs> but when I get back out to the car, I'll tell you what I thought about it. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do. As a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm THE Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. Equal as a three. Yeah, so, uh, this movie is pretty good, actually, you know. Uh, <laughs> the, the Denzel Washington, you know. I never saw Equalizer 1. I remember when I went to see Equalizer 2, I didn't know what it was. That was back when I was just starting to go see every movie. It's like, well, it's a movie, I'm going to it. I go to it, it's like this guy, he's obsessed with this, with, uh, this watch. <laughs> and time and things. It's like, it's like, oh, this guy's got a... A particular set of skills, but not like Liam Neeson. He's, his skills are different, but it's kind of the same sort of thing where he's able to, you know, kill people very effectively. <laughs> uh, like he's super overpowered in this skill set. <laughs> so I remember the second one, there's a scene where he like, where he goes up to uh, a high rise and there's some some rich people that treated a lady poorly. So he goes up there and he has to put the smack down. <laughs> and I know at the end of the movie, there's this whole thing about, it's like, it's near, it's near like the ocean or something. Like there's these docks, there's this rainstorm. But anyway, <laughs> but I thought that movie was pretty good. But I really think this movie's good. This movie's great. So this one, Denzel Washington, he is over in Italy, you know, and you don't know why at first, but he, yeah, you see him and he's already put the smack down off camera and the big crime boss, you know, he's all like, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Denzel Washington says, you got nine seconds to, to decide your fate. He gives these little speeches. They're great. I thought the movie was great, <laughs> but so, but the, the story with this one, broadly, is he finds himself over in Italy, and he's in this little town, and he has to stay there for a while, so he, like, falls in love with the town and the people. You know, there's little kids, and there's old people, and the guy that sells the fish, you know, he, like, he starts to like all these people. And wouldn't you know it, because it's in Italy, the mafia, they run amok, and they're doing all these awful things. So he's like, I want you to leave this town alone because I like this town. <laughs> so he's got to take on the mafia. Is basically what's going on here. And you know, I thought I thought it was interesting. That this character is like doing, uh, but there's this other little side thing going on with like the CIA because the thing he did at the beginning of the movie. Uh, he, like, reports that, 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 like, villa or whatever, that compound. Because there's all sorts of crimes going on. And he just killed everybody. So there's lots of, you know, crime artifacts there. And so it contacts the CIA. I was a little unsure why he did that. Because it's a whole different country. But I guess, for some reason, the CIA is able to be in Italy in this movie. <laughs> so he goes, so, and he contacts a lady, you know. And you find out kind of why a little bit going on, going on near the end. That sort of thing. Kind of ties into the other stuff. Never saw the first movie, though, so I don't really know what's going on. I should watch that sometime. Because these movies were real good. You know? And uh, the, accent, the acting is great. And the action is really cool. And the stuff he does is really cool. And the... 
you know, the whenever there's big explosions, it's cool. Whenever there's little gun fights, it's cool. And whenever he has to to kill people, he kills people in such interesting way. He does such interesting things. It's like Denzel Washington just does does a real good job of playing this. I mean, they don't they don't say that he's autistic, but you get the idea that he might be because he's real particular about his spoon and his napkin and this all this sort of stuff and he's obsessed with the details of things and when he when he talks to people before he kills them you know he's very specific about you know things <laughs> it, it's it's just great all this whole speech is a gift but yeah so I don't know if they're going to make more, but I kind of hope they do, because this was real enjoyable, you know. I really need to go back and watch the first one, since I like these other two so much. But, kind of just like this character. How he says little speeches before he kills people, and then he does it. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, anyway, Equalize 3. It is wonderful. I liked it. Those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing Equalizer 3. And I'm going to throw them up on the thoughts and opinions pile. It'll soon be buried by everybody else's, obviously. But you can go ahead and tell me your thoughts and opinions by putting them in the comments section. Yeah. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, you know. Don't forget to feed your cat. And above all, don't... Don't mess with the people that the killer likes.